So the community got involved with time because we were always there. And then some of the members of the group actually moved to that community because they liked howlers and there's howlers, like mm-hmm. there were howlers, there's more nature there, more. So like we have people that are part of the Howler Monkey Conservation Group that went there and started living there. So there was like once one of the uh, members of the group became the director of the protected area that is close by. So people were getting involved in different ways and recognizing the researchers that were always there, like collecting information and then talk. And then there was this informal engagement. And then we also started to develop a few environmental education projects in the schools that exist there and people got involved in different ways. And when there was a bridge really close to the house for monitoring 3D, I went there and asked people if they wanted to get involved in the project and they're warm, they will chill with the information every time they like had a sighting of an animal press.